Hello people of YouTube, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to hopefully a recorded commentary video. Um, confession to make, I was on last night, um, I played I played my, um, there's a group called Team Reach Around, they do like a, I know it's a funny title, um, they do like a, a No Aids Golf um, Society. Uh, and they were playing the nine hole Augusta Masters par three, so I thought I'd jump in and do it because I prefer like nine holes. Although it was over four rounds of golf, it was kind of manageable sort of chunks to to bite into. Um, and I I did a video last night where I explained why I haven't sort of released any videos in the last couple of days. Um, uploaded the video, checked it. I, I usually do like a last minute check of the, the the video and lo and behold there was no uh, commentary so I spent like 35 minutes or so talking and not knowing that I was recording my uh, commentary so I felt a bit stupid um, I released the video anyway um, but yeah so basically, um, this week I did not play, I actually didn't play the, the one round Wednesday, um, I was back shift, time I came home, had something to eat, uh, I was kind of getting tired, so I really, and it was getting late on as well, and I just didn't have the time to play, um, so I did not play the one round Wednesday um, and I did not play the TGC Tours now TGC Tours event um, I didn't have the best of like pro-arms well, I, I call it a pro-arm um, I run this uh, society so so what I do is um, what I tend to do is is I put up uh, the tournament I'm be playing in TGC tours Monday, Tuesday, and I, it's like a kind of pro arm style. Um, I did not play well at it. It was a stay puff marshmallow. Um, two over par. I think I shot one under and three four over, or was it level par? Um, from two over par, that must be. Yeah, one under and three over part is what I shot. Didn't really feel the course that much. Um, a kind of combination of a, of a few things. Um, the course itself was, was quite difficult. It, it was a lot of long par fours. Um, you know, like one, 170 plus yards. Uh, par fives that weren't reachable, which is not a problem. Uh, I did play the course. My intention was Thursday was to play um, a practice round and then commit to playing the, the the tournament. I was playing okay. I think I was like three under par. I had a really good start and then I made a I made a bit of a mistake in one of the holes. I think I put it in the water. Um, ended up taking like a triple bogey or something stupid. I kind of finished the round like. I don't know if it was level par, there or thereabouts. So I then decided to play another practice round, and again I was just beating about the kind of level par, one under, back to level. Just I, I just wasn't, I just wasn't really getting the score from the course. So I had, I had a couple of options. I could play it, and maybe play poor. Or I could just miss it out, and I chose to miss it out because I've already got two demotion strikes. So if I didn't have those strikes, I probably would have played, or even had one strike. But because of two strikes, it, it's it's risky to play it and really play poor. If I'd played the way I played my my society, I would have had another two strikes, so that that would take me up to four. Um, base another strike and that should get demoted so I just wasn't feeling the course 
and just decided not to play it. I, I think I made actually quite a wise uh, choice. So this is my society. I don't know whether I'm going to play all four rounds of this. I want to play the first round because I, I really do want to play this course. Um, if I was get the options up, this is a course by Column Thirteen, I believe his name is. Um, Let's view golfer info. Yeah, column 13. I think he's an Irish lad. Uh, he, he does play. He's actually a member of my society. He doesn't play as much because I think he really focuses more on uh, building courses. So, uh, if I let's look at his course design stats actually. Because he's had quite a few courses and I, I think they've all been really, really good courses to play. Quite. Kind of like the way I like to play a course, where it's it's kind of natural. So he's got 10 courses published. So, he's a good lad. I kind of know him. It's funny when you say, oh, I know this guy. I do know him. I've, I think I've... I don't know if he's on Twitter, maybe. Um, but, yeah, let's... Uh, I'm just going to go straight into this. This is my first round, so again, it's not ideal. Uh, it's not an ideal way to play. But we're just going to break into it. So this is Penshaw Bellow Classic. Uh, and we're playing at the Penshaw Bellow course. So, let's get into this. I'm actually thinking... Um, I think I left that in default. I think people that actually design a course and are pretty good designers have a pretty good default setting. So we're on white tees. I don't know if the white tees are the furthest back. I can't remember. But I'm really looking forward to playing this because his last couple of courses have been really good. And I don't really... I mean, my society is not massive. I do get quite a few players that, that play week in, week out, which is always good. So it means it's going gonna, it's gonna, to it's gonna give him a couple more play counts on the, the course, which is always good. And I played, I was looking for courses to play, and there was nothing really on the the PGA or the European Tour that I could really put out as a, kind of versus the pros. Hello, so I'm always looking for new courses to play. And, and so happy to I did play, I think, the first two holes, just to check it, just to get the feel for it. But there's some designers that you just know that they're not going to put out courses that are that really bad. Team. See what happens. So here we go. Penshaw Bellow. Just drop it down here. First one of the day is not too bad. Good tempo. Nerves out of the system. Should be interesting. I'm usually okay with my tempo and swing. It's just I don't know, sometimes the first nine holes can be a bit rusty, so a little word of warning, it could be, it could be bad, it could be good. 294, 32 up, so that's not reachable. Quite nice, if the wind was right, it, it could be like a, a, a doable shot, but there's a lot of, a lot of uh, trouble down here, and those bunkers as well. A, a bunker below the green is very difficult to get out of. I'm probably going to... Just mash this one up here, I think. Should hopefully leave me a flop to the green. First of all, it looks really nice. Um, nice kind of planting. And I think he will Good way out. With that. So this is not... I'm not really going to be doing a, a course. I'll probably just put my opinion in the course. But I'm not... It's not like a course review. I, I don't really do those sort of videos. Right, what have we got? Mm. It might just be outside the flop here. Probably have to go with the pitch. Maybe just loft it a touch. Maybe just a little bit more. Oh, be good. Bye! Oh. 
Hoo -hoo. I think Beautiful. And this putt's for birdie. I'm going to put my, my, oh, my watch strap's quite tight. I usually have it. That's better. Uh, I'm actually going to mute. Let's put it into cinema mode. Because that is quite annoying when it beeps. So good opening hole. That's a good pitch. So we get the birdie. And so we're off to a good start. Off with a is not a bad As I say, I might not finish this this tournament. I just want to really put my coins in and play the course. Um, still got a few numbers playing. I don't know if there's any if there'll be another page of uh, players, but and now let's move to the second it's hole. a good good amount of uh, of uh, what is it they call it a play count rounds I think that counts towards the handicap so this looks like another that single tree there's quite nice actually um, it's kind of drivable mm. what's the so yeah but we're going to get a little bit extra movement or a little bit extra distance, but the only thing I'm I'm kind of worried about here is it's going to be a long bunker shot. Right, we'll just go for it. Put some high heat on it. I don't think we're going to reach the pin. I think we're going to reach the green. Oh. Yeah, if it just gets up that top ridge, it could be good. Could be good. Go, go, go. Nah, it's going to come back down. So it's going to leave, I wouldn't say a difficult putt. I can see a bit of break from the left, so. And that was beautifully done hitting the green on this par four. So what we got here, green key. speed. I actually never checked, the, well, the green. <laughs> I never checked the green speed in the first hole because we were that close to the hole. It didn't really matter. Uh, we have got. 169 so they're, they're reasonable they're nice it's a nice speed 53 8 up okay i think this putt's going to break quite a bit of a margin maybe it comes back at the end get up and over yeah that was quite a big break I think we've done not too bad from where we were. Decent, uh, decent pace. And about four feet from the cup. Yep, another birdie. Drop the birdie. Quite a short hole. It really should merit uh, yeah, a birdie. It's not, it's not too difficult. So the leader up there, six under par. A couple and of guys up there. Off on this par four. Okay, nice... Uh, Quite like the kind of craggy shore. That's quite a nice, uh, quite a nice layout. Okay, it's just kind of like an island green sort of. Okay, that's interesting. Big hump in the middle of the green there. And it will probably. Yeah, I don't think that tree's not going to really bothers too much we'll probably set it out here maybe put a little bit more heat on it and get a little bit extra distance what a promising looking shot here oh whoa 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 now nah, we're okay i could just see the shadow of that tree and i was getting a bit worried about them they're going to go too yeah, far shot could be interesting setting up above the hole okay a long par four 211, it's, it's almost 30 down, so that's 10 off, that's 201 to the pin. 194 should be pretty decent, I might even put a, just a tiny bit of loft on it. Going with the five iron Come on, here. turn over. Yeah, it's not coming back as much as I thought. Distance was reasonable. Would have carried by the pin a little bit, but it would have gave us the, the, the line for the putt if it was close yeah, enough to the pin. Happy with that. From here, about 21 feet. Okay, not bad. 
bit of break in this, but not a huge amount. Piece was good. Should have given it just a little yeah, bit more. The par. Should easily convert to, to par. So, two under par. And, uh, that hole par the third. Leaders go to seven the under. And yeah, he's not gonna like that. Skatingism, the German. Petit Omatut. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name. Pepit. Pepit Omatu, I don't know. Some people come up with really weird names. And the wind could come into play on this one. Right, here we go. Fourth hole. Issues. Let's see how this tee shot goes. One seven nine. Again, nice, uh, nice detail. You know, what little bits of kind of brush and trees and and rock and the path as well is quite nice. The cart path. One eight one. Six down, so probably gonna get in here with a seven iron. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna cut it into the wind a little bit, maybe even just deal off the touch. It looks like a seven iron. Oh, that's right on it. Come on, be good, be the number. Uh, just a little bit more deal off, just another. Another notch, that would have been right on it. He will like that. And this putt is for Birdie. Hello, Vader. It's my cat, by the way. He's going to faff about my face. Um, okay, a little bit of break on this. It's actually, it's actually quite a difficult putt because we need to be careful with his speed because it could roll on quite a lot. So I'm going to play it kind of neat. I don't want to be too aggressive. Yeah, you can see it just drop off at the end. I mean, there's a time to really push for birdies and there's a time to kind of maybe just think about maybe just taking your palm moving on. If it drops, it drops, but you don't want to be forcing that putt because that could have went. We could have lost that putt. So eight under par now. The leader. Okay, and here is the fifth hole. Oh, there's a little house. Again, quite nice. It's uh, good use of the 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 rocks. And those rocks can actually be quite dangerous because if you happen to land in that that valley, then you hit one of those rocks. Ain't gonna be pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of extra heat on it. Just try and squeeze a little bit of extra juice out of this ball. Well, I'm pretty sure this is gonna land in the fairway here. Pretty good so far. And about 155 yards out. So a little bit of a side slope here. I might cut this ball. One five three. We've got a couple off that. Five five one. The four eight could be good actually. I'm just going to deal off it a touch. I'm going to accommodate for the slope. Then I'm going to cut it into the wind. Just try and hold it up. Oh, it's a bit long. A bit long. Catch that soap, it's not bad. I'm gonna be putting I'm gonna have probably a decent attempt to at bird it. I think he's gonna like that. And this one's for birdie. Yeah, pretty good actually. A little bit of break on it. Probably enough just to make it turn, but Oh, oh <laughs> Oh, a hair, an absolute hair. And tapping in for par. And two under 
for the day. So keeps us at two under. Wida goes to nine under par. And next up is a par four, folks. Nice trees there, just at the tee there. It's quite nice. Quite like that kind of hard edge in the left. That's that's kind of nice. Okay, bend round. Yeah, it's quite nice. Again, the, the, the cart path is quite nice how he's kind of got it's got functional. Yeah, I quite like that hard edge. I thought, I, oh, it's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's quite nice. Um, it looks as if we could drive. Hmm. Yep. Quite, quite a nice idea because you've got like the kind of easy shot here, but you're, you're going to be pushed into that sort of that top part there. But you do have the kind of optional extra drive over, maybe a little bit more risk. Going to put a little bit extra heat on it. The wind's behind, so it makes it's that drive. shot just a little oh, bit easier. Go on for days. But it's quite good to be a, a designer that that kind of realizes that that is an option and gives you that <coughs> gives you that kind of that out. option of playing that shot so we're 124 we would have been probably oh i don't know another maybe a good 160 yard shot vader don't you what are you doing he's playing under this rug right one two four it's going to be one, two, two, wind. Wind's going to bring that down quite a bit. Um, I'm going to go one away. I'm going to, I'm going to deal off that a little bit. You probably can't hear my car. He's playing with a, a fork of all things. Green here. It's a plastic chi uh, child's fork. Oh, that's a great shot. Yep. Okay, he's putting now. And about six feet to go here. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I hate missing those putts. I kind of didn't commit to it. For the par. Break was. Oh, yep. That was a bad miss. That was not a good putt. And currently, the score to beat is 10 under par. So we're still two under. We're tied thirteen. So obviously there's there's more people on the other page. Okay, and let's see what we should we should add a body there. Store. Yeah, it's I'm, I'm I'm enjoying playing this course. There's n there's nothing too fancy, but it's nice. I mean I, when I say fancy, I mean some people try and do it too much. So we've got a little bit of an elevation change here. Drive this down the the throat here. Oh, this one's looking pretty good. But nothing too like. I mean, some people try to be too fancy, and they kind of make the course like, you know, it's just too sort of. I don't know. They try to yeah, be too yards out. too much into it. Yeah, we've got a decent lie here. Um, twenty eight. So it's almost ten. One seven eight. One seven six. Probably 172. Maybe just a tiny bit of waft on it. Just a little bit to the left. Not bad. Could have maybe put a little bit. Maybe just left it. Lengthy putt coming up. Could really do with some of these putts dropping actually. My goodness! <laughs> I tell you one thing, I'm not far off. And about four <coughs> from the cup. And that part. Yeah, that last, that, the part, the last hole there is kind of still, 
Still niggling me a little bit. Up on the leaderboard after that hole. So two now at ten under. Honey and bears up there at nine under. Hole is next. Interesting par three. That's a really big green. The good thing about having quite a big green like that is you've got really like different yardages. So you could actually probably play that at. Uh, what's that? 108. So you could probably have like 110 yard, and you could probably go up to like 100, and probably near a 180 at the top of that green. So you can actually change. You can actually dy dynamically change a par three from just like a a standard run of the mill one, say like 130 yards, where you've got actually got a, a par three that you can change. Like one, you can have it 110, or you can have it. 180 and with the elevation change as well it's adding like that little bit extra uh, height to it like, like 10 yards so we've got 172 to the pin that wind's going to bring it back up. I'm going to cut this down a little going with the 8 iron ok good we'll bite and that's going to roll on a little Right, we can see the break there, so it's going to be a, maybe a little bit of a downhiller. Green, but uh, quite far away from the hole at this point. Not the easiest of putts. Come on. Come on! I want to drop. Finally make a birdie putt. And currently sitting at three under. Four that moves us to three under par. We're now in twelfth. Leaders remain at ten. Okay, and on to the ninth. So ninth hole. Par five. Nice little marker there to to show you the the middle of the fairway. Wow. That's that. This this par five looks really quite interesting. A couple of levels to it. Yep, quite quite liking this. Six hundred and twenty-seven. Do you know you can always tell a par five that's going to be a little bit longer. I'm going to cut this, and I'm actually going to put a little bit of heat on it. Although I mean it's six hundred yards, we're not going to gain. It's looking like this is bound for the We're not going to get the, the 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 green in two shots, but it might help us with the 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 way up shot. We did catch that one fast, but it was okay. Three hundred and twenty-six yards. Ooh. Okay. Probably going to cut a little draw on this just to hold it. Hold it in that wind. Nice, I'll do it. I actually should have checked. That was actually a course management mistake. I should have checked. The yardage to give me like a ninety-four yard shot, so that was that was that was a bit of a mistake because I could have laid up with maybe a, a, an iron and got that that perfect number approach. So that was a mistake. Try and get the pitch here going in. It's looking good. Rolls out a little. That'll do it. Yep. I think you'll like that. And about ten feet to go here. Probably just outside the left edge, I think. Ooh, Didn't really turn at all. Because inside the left. Oh, so that's another that's another putt mistake. So that's like two of hard. Damn. 
So Make front nine done. Peter sitting at eleven under par. Not bad. I mean three under par. I think we've we've, we've missed like two putts that we should have got really. Um, so we should have been maybe five under. Uh, so we got to dig the scorecard. So we, we played pretty well. Three birdies. The rest pars. So we're playing steady. Yeah, let's see what the tenth. Not my usual start. opening nine holes of the day. That's a very interesting green again. He's, he's leaving himself really a lot of options on uh, the green front, which is quite which is quite interesting. Um, <clears throat> I think I could squeeze that up. It's downhill as well. I'm I'm going to play high heat. Maybe a little bit of draw on this just to get it turning a little bit. Try and get it chasing up. Yep, I actually didn't want to be in the green, if I'm honest. Let's see how this goes out of the rough. Come on, be good. Oh, it's a little bit too far. Just ran on a little. I tried to just get it. I don't know what it's I hit. I, I think I hit it 100%. Yeah, I, I actually did hit 100%. I wanted to hit it just slightly worse. Yeah, it's <coughs> I mean, this is not an easy putt. It's a little bit of break on it. Didn't put enough. Ooh, I was kind of thinking, I was putting it out there, and I'm going, mm, that's maybe too this much, but not enough. Good little hole. Should should really be easy. Should, should have been a birdie, but after that, he's gonna move down just enough breaking that green at the back forward. just to cause a little bit of hassle. And now setting up for this par five. Par five coming up. Five four nine. A little bit of water there. Okay. Looks like it could be interesting off the tee. Oh yeah. Oh. I mean, there's options there if the wind's behind. It could be a. Could be an intentional shot there. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this is looking fairway bound. From 240 yards away. 242. Mm, I don't know if this club's going to be... Two wood's going to be too much. Mind you, look at the wind. Right, two wood. I feel I want to hit this partial, but... Yeah, we'll hit a slight, a slight partial backswing. Right, let's try and get the timing right here. Nah, I had it fast. I actually you know, whipped the, sure the sticks forward. I got, I, I got the slow, but... I just quickened the the downswing. And missing the approach on that one. Seems to me the wind may have gotten a hold of that shot. Do we want to hit this full? Uh, well, I, I didn't want to hit it full, but I didn't want to hit it that. So, or power wise, maybe hitting it full would, would have been the, the better. The better call. Okay, what about scrambling to do here? I 
put I put a waft on that and then I actually get scared hitting yeah, it full. This, hopefully they can save power. And that one will drop. So we get the part. Again, that was really just the the partial two wood shot. I, I just snapped it. I snapped my downswing. So thirteen under pars leading. Okay, I actually cut that short. I meant to see the the overhead. Um, One fifty. To deal off this a little bit. Going with the nine iron. Uh, it's coming over a little bit. Didn't put enough. The directional control wasn't as good, but that slope is going to bring it, bring it down nicely. And he's probably going to like. That. So that helped us out a little bit. Feet to go here. Again, you know the. There's just enough movement in the greens that, that just don't, you know, that it's making some of the putts just not easy. Ooh, it looked close. <sighs> it just didn't go. Again, not enough break. My putting's not been and terrible, but I've, I've just been misjudging the, like the, the break the a little bit. To beat. 13 under for our current leader. 13 under. All right, let's see what uh, happens on the 13th hole here. Par 5, another 606 yards in the card. The trees are pretty decent. There's a nasty ridge line there that could... It could put some balls heading towards the the water. Okay. It's interesting. Let's see where this drive's gonna end up. Yeah that oh, that's quite an oh. just gonna put a little bit of feed on this. But the old Darth Vader. You know, don't want to hit that ridge line. If that ridge line could maybe. It's almost like a natural hazard object. I mean, if you catch that, that side downhill Y, it could promote you into the water. Hmm. Right, I'm not going to make the same mistake. So I want something that's going to give me a decent number in. So twenty four up. Um, okay. I think something about the one nine four mark is going to be good. Anything that's like between ninety four and one hundred and ten yards is a kind of butter zone. Ninety six, but it's thirty foot up, so that's one oh six and a one oh eight. I'm playing uphill here, but I have to deal off that a touch. Come on. Too long. Well oh, come back, come back, come back, come back. Nah, it's not going to come far enough. We had that too much. And he's got to be happy with that. This putt's for birdie. Okay. Could be a little bit slippery. I'll find the hole. Yeah, no, he's, uh, right in the cup. Wasn't going fast, but it probably would have ran by the hole a little bit. And currently sitting at four under for the day. So that was a decent putt. 14 under par is the leader. And now setting up for the Numbers and letters guy. Par 4. 
nice, uh, nice bridge. Hmm. And it's not yardage is not long. This could be a this could be an interesting three, four, five. Twenty-seven down. That's not really drivable. I think we can cut the corner a little bit. Immense power on this drive, folks. Well, that would have been far from the green. Nah, I'll just catch it off. Should be okay though, it's not going to be a... Now this shot, it's not going to be a long shot. The rough. 49. <coughs> okay. Probably going to try the 57 pitch. I think that should be pretty good. Oh, get down, get down. Too, too far, too far, too far. That's a bit of a loose one. I must judge that a little. And about 17 feet to the cup. Come on, Tom, Tom, Tom. Come on. And that one will go for birdie. Well, starting to find some pots here. And the, uh... Leader at the top of our board is currently sitting at 14, 14 under. under par. So we're five under. We're kind of starting to gradually crawl up this hill. Par four hole. 435 yards, par four. Again, I, I just like how it's nothing's really like. It's straightforward, but it's not like. You know, there's a bit of twist, there's a bit of turn. That's kind of interesting because I don't really think we need to. Well, I don't know. I might just try and play a draw here. And just launched this drive. Yeah, it's going to be okay. I was a bit worried we might run out of fairway, but it's, I think it's slightly uphill, so. 135 yards to the pin. Okay, the soap and the wind are kind of working together here. Um, one, three, six, eight. Let me just leave it as is. Me a tiny bit of deal off. Here is the pitch. Should bring the wind should bring it back a little. Oh, be good. Oh, be good. Be good. Be good. Be good. Be good. Beautiful! And this for the birdie. Easy peasy lemon squeeze it. And that hole is Six on the pot. Allow him to move up in the standings. And setting up on the 16th tee. Okay, par three, one, four, six. Got a kind of nature, uh, just a grass bunker there. I know it's not a bunker, but it is, it is kind of like a grass bunker. Which is quite an interesting idea, actually. Right, 24 down. Yeah, it's 142. Wind's going to bring that back a little bit. Maybe the 148 is just about right. I'll put a little bit of waft on it. Going with the nine iron. Good here. shot, good tempo. Has it got the legs? Come on. Oh, baby. And I think he will like that. 
And this one's about four feet from the cup. I'm not going to spend too much time over that putt. We get it in. Not a birdie. Moves us to seven under par. We're starting to make a move here. Under par for the day. Kind of wait the day. Also tied for ninth on the leaderboard. And let's see what the seventeenth has in store. Not a couple. No, I mean, see another two birdies, but <clears throat> hopefully we can get at least one more. Maybe even two. Nice hard edge in that tree line there. Wow, that's a big bend. Mm, okay. It's going to be a quite, quite an interesting par four. A little bit of a step there. Okay. Yeah, that's a big dog leg. Just going to put a little bit extra heat on it. Oh, it's kind of cutting a bit. It's all right. I thought initially that was going to be really tight. We do get a little bit extra yardage out of it. And I think he will be happy with that. <coughs> Excuse me. To the pin. One six one. It's five up. So it's playing about one six seven. It's going to deal off this a little bit. I don't think we need to deal with it. Is mm, fact. What's this? The wind's gonna accommodate for that, so let's not deal with it. I think I'm just gonna put a little touch on it. A little bit of waft. Oh, I need to bite. I need to bite. I need to bite. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more waft on that. Nice little path Nothing there, looking down. I'll probably put this actually. Come on, stay up, stay up, stay up. Oh, you're kidding me. Just Ooh, that's so close. There. Oh, that would have been amazing. And now we get the pot. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. So we don't get that bird in this hole. All right, and uh, they'll stay in ninth place in the leaderboard after that hole. And as he tees off here on the Ooh. final hole, he is... 508 yards par four. We have got an elevated tee, so that's going to cut the, the yardage down a little bit. A tie for ninth place on the leaderboard. Okay. Probably the landing zone a bit here. Oh, interesting. You don't really want to be short. You could pl imagine plugging in front of that 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 deck in there. Could be interesting. Okay, I'm gonna play a little bit of a little bit of heat in this one. And uh, nicely done, looking like we'll have some fairway that here. tree could maybe cause us... Mm, nah, we should be okay. We should be okay. I think we should get by it. Yeah, let's see how this one goes. They're setting up uh, below the hole. Uh, it's kind of... So it's 130 up, so that's 176. This could be interesting, guys. This could be... Do you know what? I'm not taking a risk. Because I think we could clip that tree, actually. So we're going to have to play a little bit of a... We're going to have to fade this round here. Seven iron on this one. I did put enough fade on it. No, it's not going to be too far off. Catch that little slope. Come on, roll back, roll back. He's got to be pleased with that. I think and we would have clipped that tree, actually. 
Oh, it's a tough one. Yeah, it's a tough one. Come on. Ooh, and that was Putton's been, been uh, apart from that putt we missed, though, those two that putts, be Putton's two been feet. actually pretty decent. So, that is Penshaw Bellow. Is it Penshaw Bellows? Penshaw Bell. Um, I, quite, I really enjoyed that. It's a decent course. Um, you know, interesting. Uh, a couple of interesting holes in it. Nothing that's that's too like unforgiving. You know, it's not like I don't think there's anything that's just like, oh come on, mate, that's that's not a good design. Pretty much, pretty much a really good solid course from column thirteen. Let's check the scorecard. No, uh, no bogeys, which is good. Good run of uh, birdies there that got us kind of back into some kind of, I wouldn't say contention, but it got us to seven under par. Um, but pretty happy with that. Pretty nice course. I'll give that five stars easy. I'll put it in my favourites. So, guys and girls, that is Pinchot Bell by Column 13, and it's the Pinchot Bell Classic, which is running in Pixelated Golfers. As I say, I might do the four rounds, or the, the other three rounds today. I might get another one, maybe two. Fingers crossed that I, I maybe get three, but I'll need to wait and see what I'm up to. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that video, and hit it with a like. Subscribe as well. I'm always putting stuff up. Um, and again, apologies for not playing the TGC Tours, but I'm not going to play a course that I'm just not 100% on, especially when I've got two demotion strikes. I need to get those cleared, so I need to make the cut. Um, but anyway, as I say, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time. Bye.